Hello and welcome back to the path integrator. Today once again with an integral. This time we have the integral from 0 to 1 with the function 2 to the power of x plus 1 dx. It looks quite simple. Let's see if the solution is as simple. So let's take the integral from 0 to 1, 2 to the power of x plus 1 dx. We can simplify the integrand first because the integrand is just 2 times 2 to the power of x if we use the laws of exponential functions and how to use exponents and the limits stay the same so it's 0 plus from 0 to 1. We can extract the 2 out of the integral so we have from 2 times the integral from 0 to 1 2 to the power of x dx. So now we need to know what is the integral of 2 to the power of x. What we can do is we can substitute the whole thing with u of x. Then, if we want to substitute it, we need to calculate the derivative of u with respect to x, which means we need the derivative with respect to x of the exponential function 2 to the power of x. So we have managed to reduce the problem of integrating this exponential function to taking the derivative of this expansion exponential function. Okay, this is quite cool. How do we now calculate the derivative of this exponential function? Well, we can take a look at how to take the derivative of any exponential function, um, a to the power of x, with a being a real number. Because all we have to do is we need to make use of the exponential function with the basis the Euler number to the power of the natural log of a to the power of x because this is equal to a to the power of x because the natural log and the exponential functions are inverse to each other. So we can use that together with the chain rule to find out what the actual derivative is. So let's see that. We have d with respect to dx of a to the power of x is d with respect to x of e times. Now we get the x out of the logarithm, x times natural log of a. So now we can take the derivative with respect to x, which is with the chain rule, which is just the natural log of a times e to the power of x times the natural log of a and this is the natural log of a times a to the power of x. So this is the solution for our derivative. We can use that now in our substitution problem where we have like u is 2 to the power of x which means that du over dx is equal to the natural log of 2 times 2 to the power of x. So what we do right now is we plug in the u in this equation here. So this is ln of 2 times u. What we want to know is what is dx and this we get by reforming the equation. So we get dx is equal to du over u times ln of 2, where ln is the natural log. So this we can now plug in into our integral. Our integral so far looked like this. So we have 2 times the integral from 0 to 1 of 2 to the power of x dx is equal, so the 2 stays. Now we have to substitute the limits of the integral. So we have u of 0 and u of 1. And then we plug in the u itself and the du, which is u times natural log of 2. So we can extract the natural log of 2 because this is just a constant. So we get like 2 divided by the natural log of 2. And then we calculate the limits of the um, substituted inst integral. So we have u of 0. This equals 1. And u of 1 equals 2. 
and since the u's here equal each other out we only have the integral over du so we get as a solution this is just 2 divided by the natural log of 2 because the whole integral equals 1. So the solution was quite tricky but though it was as easy as the integral made us think. What do you say? If you like this video like it please and uh, would be cool if you subscribe to this channel would help me a lot and um, leave a comment on what kind of content you would like me to produce. Alright so see you in the next video. Bye!